And our coverage of 9-11 10 years later continues now from our nation's capital. Nothing has shaped American policy in modern history more than the attacks on our country. And this week, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are examining, and they are examining like all Americans, reflecting on their experiences that horrific day. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White traveled to Washington, D.C., and he is here right now with the details. Here in our nation's capital, the scars of 9-11 are everywhere, mainly in the form of tighter security. It's a way of life that has settled in for everyone that lives and works in Washington, D.C. Clearly it was not a, an accident. A Senator Jack Reed was in Washington, D.C. when planes slammed into the Twin Towers in Manhattan and the Pentagon. And I was determined to stay as long as I could. Finally, two police officers came in and asked us rather directly to leave the building because of the, 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 the potential threats to the Capitol. We left. It was chaotic outside. During a special taping of newsmakers from Washington, D.C., Reed says he was determined to get back to Rhode Island and plan to drive until he received a call from Massachusetts Senator John Kerry. He had an aircraft that he could, that he, his, his wife actually owns, that could fly, and that got permission in the airspace, and uh, so along with Senator Ted Kennedy and and uh, Vicky, uh, his wife, uh, myself, Senator Kerry, Mrs. Kerry, we flew and I think frankly we had to wait for Air Force One to land before we could take off or we were one of the few uh, civilian aircraft. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse was Rhode Island's Attorney General on 9-11. He says it was clear to him things would never be the same. We turned to the television and saw what are now the iconic images of the smoke pouring out of one of the two towers and then suddenly the second one went up and that changed everything. Both senators are now back in Rhode Island to attend ceremonies remembering 9-11 and on Monday Senator Reed plans to give a keynote speech on lessons learned since the attacks. From Washington DC, Tim White, Eyewitness News.